Greetings. We welcome you to our service today here at Shallow Baptist Church of Landover, Maryland, where the Reverend B. Lewis Colleton is our pastor. We're glad you decided to worship with us, where we believe in the power of prayer. Here at Shiloh, our motto is more prayer, more power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. Keep praying, saints, because prayer changes things. To learn more about us, visit our website at shilohbc.org. Now stay tuned for more information from our virtual worship leader. Happy Thanksgiving. We are so thankful that you are here to worship with us this morning. Join me in the live chat to the right side of the screen, along with other officers to let us know where you're worshiping from. Have you shared our worship service this morning with your family and friends yet? Take a moment to share our worship service on all your social media platforms. Gather the family and let us worship God together. Prayer is a much needed element in the world today. If you or know someone who is in need of prayer, comment or leave your email address in the live chat and a deacon or minister will contact you. The live chat is only available during the 10 a.m. service. We invite you to support our ministries here at Shiloh. The Bible says give and it shall be given back to you. If you would like to support our ministries at Shiloh, here is how you can give. Visit our website at shilohbc.org forward slash give. Send a text to the number on the screen. Mail your gifts to the address on the screen or stop by the church to drop off your love offering. Let us prepare to hear a motivating word from our pastor. And happy Thanksgiving, my dear brother, my dear sister. God bless you and thank God that he has kept us from 2019 Thanksgiving up to this very, very new Thanksgiving. We bless you this morning. We ask that you will continue to trust in the Lord in all that you do and bless his holy name. I want to invite your attention uh, this morning to Philippians 4 and verse 6 in the King James Version. Let us pray. Father, we thank you now for this yet another, another Thanksgiving morning. Thank you, Father, 
for the men and women who are uh, praising your holy name, worshiping you on this morning. And we pray, God, uh, extra blessings upon their lives. And we pray, God, an extra blessing into their household. Oh, God, we pray right now that you would move in a mighty special way and bless them in Jesus' name. Lord, uh, speak to me, speak through me and speak for me. In Jesus' name, I pray this prayer, amen and amen. My dear brother, my dear sister, as we prepare now to read the word of God, I want to invite your attention again to Philippians 4 and verse 16. Philippians 4 and verse 6 and verse 6. Let us look to the word. King James now. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made unto God. Wow, what a brief, brief, but powerful, powerful scripture. Be careful for nothing. My brothers, my sister, I want to preach uh, this morning very briefly. I know you have the pies, the turkeys, the cakes, and all of those delicious things uh, perhaps already in your oven, and you are tempted to um, stay in front of the television right now or get back to your kitchen. And so we're not going to test your patience. So, so this morning, I only have two points for this Thanksgiving message. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you uh, the sermon, the message today is don't forget to give thanks. Don't forget to give thanks thanks. But first, I want to say in point one, in point one, don't worry about things. Don't worry about things. Listen at uh, now, uh, the writer says in verse, uh, in this verse six, uh, the A clause, he says, be careful for nothing. Uh, if you really pay attention here, we find um, uh, anxieties. He's talking about having anxieties, self-centered, counterproductive worry. Um, don't uh, legitimize the cares of this world or uh, don't allow anything to uh, separate you from the truth of the gospel. Uh, <clears throat> in every situation, um, he is saying, no matter what you are going through, no matter where you are on this Thanksgiving morning, I would say to you, you have something to thank God for. You have something where you can turn and say, Lord, I thank you. And if you don't have anything to thank God for, can I give you this, my brother? Can I give you this, my sister? The fact that you are still standing, even if you've been sick, you are still standing. Whatever you've gone through, and if you've made it from uh, January of 2020 to the very present hour, oh, you have a lot to give God thanks for. And if you won't thank him, I will thank him for you. Lord, I thank you for the listener. I thank you for keeping him. I thank you for keeping her. God, I thank you for the many blessings you have showered on us, your people. God, I thank you for bringing those who have been affected 
by uh, this uh, 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 virus. I thank you, God, for bringing them out of the hospital. I thank you, God, for those you have kept um, in isolation uh, for the 14 days and you have brought them out. God, I thank you for your healing power. And not only have you blessed us with um, healing of those who have been sick with this virus, but God, you still have blessed those who are dealing with cancer. You have blessed those, God, who are dealing with hip replacement, knee replacement, and all of those other replacements. God, you have blessed us, and I say thank you, God. And Lord, I don't want to um, use my time worrying about anything, and I want to praise you for everything. Oh, my brother, my sister, this morning, I want you to take time to think on where God has brought you from and <clears throat> from uh, this early year to the very present time. Look what God has brought you through. Look at what God has brought you through. And we dare not, we dare not forget to give God thanks. Oh, I thank him. I thank him. I thank him. I thank him for my health. I thank him for my children. I thank him for my grandchildren. I thank God. I thank him. <clears throat> and I invite you to do the same. Be, be, don't worry about things. Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. Don't let anxiety and and I, I, I join you with, in the idea and the concept that we are surrounded by things that could bring about anxieties. We're, we're, we're surrounded by all kinds of, 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 of pandemics. We're, we're, we're surrounded by sickness. We are surrounded by things that could bring into our lives something that would bring about anxiety. But I want you to hear this brief message this morning when I say to you, don't forget to give thanks. Thank the Lord for all that he has done, all he is doing, and all he shall do. You see, my brothers and sisters, I'm not only looking at, at, at what God or where God has brought me from, especially in 2020, uh, but I'm thanking God for this very Thursday morning. I'm thanking God for this very Thanksgiving morning because there was nothing that I received by way of message or any other means that I was guaranteed to be here. And if you, if you know what I know, that you would too give God thanks for all that he has done, all that he has done. But let me tell you this, I'm not only thanking God for what he's done and what he's doing, but I'm thanking God for next year. I'm thanking God for bringing me into a new year. I'm thanking God for bringing me through this pandemic or these pandemics. I'm thanking God for my future. I'm thanking God for my children's future. I'm thanking God for my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren's future. I'm thanking God and I want to invite you to do the same. Don't get stuck because this thing is not, is not ours, it's passing through. And our business, our business is don't forget to give thanks. And the more we praise God, the more blessings that God will shower in our lives. My brothers, my sister, I want you to know that God knows exactly where you are. Don't worry about things. Enjoy yourself today and enjoy yourself every day that God allows you to see. Point two, and I'm closing with this one. <laughs> Call on the name of the Lord for all things. Call on the name of the Lord for all things. Listen, B and C clause of 
our text says it like this. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your request <clears throat> be made known unto God, my Lord. So my brothers and sisters, first, first the writer says, Paul says, listen, don't, 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 don't worry about anything. Don't, don't be careful for nothing. Don't be anxious for nothing. Relax. Know that you're in the hands of Almighty God. Know that God will see you through. And then, and then Paul says to the church at Philippi, he says, listen, call on the name of the Lord for all things. Matter of fact, anything you need, call on the name of the Lord. Call on the name of the Lord. Even if you don't get it today, call on his name. At least you know you have put your requests in and God will bless you in his own way, in his own season. God will bless you. Call on his name. But in, in everything by prayer, and supplication with thanksgiving. In other words, when I'm praying for that thing, when I'm praying for that thing, whether I get it or not, I'm thanking God. I'm thanking God. I'm, I'm thanking God for his power. I'm thanking God for his ability to uh, let that thing loose in my life. I'm thanking God for allowing me to be blessed right now, right here. I'm thanking God. I'm thanking God for you again. I'm thanking God for your children and your children's children. I'm thanking Thanking God for healing our land. Nope, it's not in. It's not in right now. But guess what? Guess what, my brothers and sisters? We are going through, and God will bring us through on the other side of these problems that we are having right now. And 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 again, everything, everything, everything by prayer, supplication, and with thanksgiving. So we ought not just be uh, celebrating today, but we ought to be celebrating every day that God has blessed us to live. We ought to be celebrating every child, every grand, every great grand we have. We ought to be thanksgiving, thanksgiving for everyone in our families. We ought to be giving God thanksgiving for every meal he has applied on our table, in our refrigerator, in our pantry, all of these many, many years of our lives. We ought to be uh, in the spirit of thanksgiving, not just about today's turkey or ham or pie or cake, but look how many meals God has supplied to you, to you, and to you, and to me, and our homes. We ought to be uh, not only praying, not only with supplication, but also with thanksgiving. Because you see, my brothers and sisters, the more I thank God, the more I think about what it is that I have to be thankful for. Let me say that again. Every time I say, Lord, I thank you uh, for uh, blessing me today, I thought, I think, I, I, I think about yesterday, and then I think about the day before. I think about all the blessings God has poured into my life, and, and I want to invite you to do the same, my brother, my sister. I want you to understand that if it had not been for God, you nor I would be here today. I thank God for bringing every one of us through this pandemic thus far. And I'm believing that God will continue to bring us through. I believe that God will continue to gird us up on every side. And I believe that even if you are touched with uh, this virus, that God will bring you out on the other side. Oh, oh, my brothers and my sisters, don't forget 
to give thanks. And I want to say to every son, every daughter, don't you forget to give thanks. Turn to your parents, turn to your grandparents, and give God thanks for them and thank them for all that they have done for you in your life. Let today be filled, filled up with giving thanks. With giving thanks. While you're sitting at your table or you're on some type of, 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 of virtue, uh, communication today, let giving thanks be your subject today. Let thanks be poured out upon your life today. Let thanksgiving be yours, my dear brother, my dear sister. Let thanks be on your heart, on your mind, and in your soul. Don't allow, don't allow what's going on around us to rob you of prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. Let your request be known unto God. You want God to heal, you want God to deliver, you want God to bring you through this pandemic. There is no shame in your prayer life. Let it be known unto the Lord. I ask of you, call on the name of the Lord for all things. Tell God about it. Don't you understand, brothers and sisters, the God we serve, he is able. He is, I declare, he is able. And if we were in church right now, in the physical building right now, I would be saying to us, give God the praise. Thank God. Let God hear your heart be thankful. Let God see your soul is thankful. Let God know that your mind is on thanksgiving. Thank God. Please today, my brother, my sister, don't forget to give thanks. Don't forget to thank God for saving your loved ones. Don't forget to thank God for saving your son, your daughter. Don't forget to thank God for bringing your grandchildren up out of the mockery clay. Don't forget, don't forget to give thanks. And I believe that when we give thanks, God hear those thanks, God receive those thanks, and in return, God pours out blessings in our lives. Yes, my brothers and sisters, I want you to know today that God loves us and he has shown his love to us. If you can hear me, if you can see me today, you know how good God is. And I bless God for each of you. And I pray, I pray that you don't forget to give thanks, not just for today, but for all the days of your life, for your children, your grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and for your children yet unborn to your bloodline. Let God know that you appreciate what he has done. Let us not, let us not be like the nine of the ten whom God healed and only one return. And if only one return, let that one be you today. Let that one be you today. That you're not only healed in the physical, but you're healed from sin and iniquity. God bless you and may heaven smile upon each and every one of you. Happy Thanksgiving to you, my brother, my sister. Happy Thanksgiving and may God richly, richly bless you for not forgetting to give thanks. God bless you and let your meal be extra, extra tasty today. Let heaven 
smile upon you. Let us pray. Father, we thank you now for everything that you have done for us, everything you have given to us. We thank you now, God, for your love for us, your people. We thank you, God, for bringing us through these pandemics. We thank you, God, for blessing us in every aspect of our lives. And we thank you, God, not just for the day, not just for this year, but God, we thank you for every year that you have blessed us to be on this side of life. We bless you, God, for those whom you have called from labor to rest. We thank you, God, for lending them to us. And God, while our uh, table might be empty of a chair because of you making the decision to call one of our loved ones home, we say thank you for their presence. Thank you, God, for lending them to us for the many years you did. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. And let somebody, let somebody today who do not know the Lord Jesus Christ, accept God in your life as your Lord and Savior. You don't have to say this so loudly, whoever you might be, but do say it with your mouth. Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. And the word of God says, and thou shalt be saved. Pray this prayer with me. Lord, here I am. I am a sinner. I want to be saved and I call on the name of Jesus because I believe that he died for my sins and I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. Now help me, Lord, to join this church or to join a church closer to me where I can learn more about you and have a more meaningful relationship with you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you've been blessed by the Word of God from Pastor Colleton. Please go and apply God's Word to your life so it can be a blessing to you, your friends, and your family. And as the Scripture says, put your trust in God because He cares for you. Now, unto him who is able to keep you from falling, to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Until we meet again, saints, may God continue to bless you.